Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. And it's going to be for your mid-monthlies. We're going to be looking at love career and finance and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description of box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. All right. So we're going to be looking at your day to, well, your, your love life first, your career and finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to go to help with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So let's go to my Leo's romantic love life. Now until the end of August, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we are starting out with the temperance card energy. Temperance talks about there's a healing energy coming in here. Someone is trying to be patient. Someone is emotionally wanting to bring things into balance, okay? So this is going to be starting soon because obviously that's this is the near future. This is next. And what's your influence here, Leo? Let's find out. What's your influence? A potential, potential new opportunity to offer a passion, Leo. Okay, with the Ace of Wands energy. Okay, judgment. And we got. Hmm. Be careful. You may want you may want to react to a situation. I see the Knight of Swords. So Try not to have a gut reaction about something that's about to come up here in uh, this time period. So let me see what the bottom of the deck is saying here. We see this family situation and we see a mother situation around this and a lot of overanalyzing to regain some kind of confidence or it could be saying abundance of beauty and attraction and we see lots of overanalyzing about uh, somebody having the lack of confidence in, in approaching you. Okay, so. What's going to have by Leo's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards, my Leo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's Career and Finance. Now until the end of August, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so someone looks like they're going to travel to you. There's a lot of soul searching going on about this situation. So like somebody's really deeply thinking about you. Um, really analyzing this and wanting to fix the situation. There's a blessing coming in here with the Wheel of Fortune energy. So there's a person that's like, you know, we live too far away. I want to, I, I feel like there's a loss here, you know? I, I really want to take away this travel. I'm having a lot of self-doubt about what's really going on. Okay? So it's going to by Leo's Romantic Love Life now until the end of August. And I hear that someone's saying they love to look deep in your eyes and they're falling in love with you. What's going to happen with Leo's romantic love life now until the end of August? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Someone is also feeling very frustrated. What I hear is, Leo, I'm very frustrated about the situation. I'm not exactly sure how to move forward. It's been very difficult for me because I just don't know where I stand with you. I'm deeply in love with you and that scares me. How am I supposed to continue this way? I'm very frustrated. Okay. Yeah, we see someone really wants to get control over this situation. And uh, I see that there is a bridge being mended here, but I see that there's this concern about somebody working against the situation until the timing is right. So I was like, uh, there's a situation where somebody has a lot of uncertainty, possibly because there's distance between you and this person or like a far away energy. It's like there's a lack of clarity with this person. But I see there's deep love here, King of Cups energy. 
And I don't feel they're being honest with you about how deeply they've fallen in love with you, okay, with that cat card energy coming out. But I see that they really respect you and they really honor you and uh, they really appreciate you. But there's a lot of self-doubt as a central theme with your person or this person around this. And there is a sense of despair about this. And it, it, this, they just want great happiness with you. And if I keep going further, just keep saying to me, it's so tough. It is so tough to deal with this situation. It's like they're stamping their foot down. And some of you, they may, be, may specifically have been happened or is about to happen. Because they're stamping their foot down and like, enough, enough. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore with this. I've had enough. I'm so in love with you. And it's just, it's ridiculous. I, I can't live without you. Maybe you're okay with just coming in and out and spending time with me whenever you want. But I need to spend more time with you. And this is just not enough for me. And so that kind of energy is there. Okay, so, yeah. This person really, really feels happy with you and wants to find out, gain knowledge, book card energy. Because there is a realization that there's some kind of obstacles to overcome here in this situation, right? So you can see so far, someone's like trying to put themselves in a place of authority so that they can have success in the situation. They're concerned that there's other people working against the connection and that they, they really want to be the winner here. That's what I feel like. They want to win you over and they want to be the winner and have a great happiness here to overcome these obstacles or blockages. We can see this potential opportunity offer. But you see, you see that like the person is coming towards you. It's like they want to apologize or they want something to go in their favor. And it's like you you kind of like, there's this concern about rushing with the Knight of Swords energy. So it's like this waiting around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And really, really cautioning in this, protecting that. And as a result, someone's really reacting to that. It's like they're really reacting to the slow moving forward it's like they really want things to go faster 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 i need to know where do i i deeply love you but they i don't feel that they're telling you how deeply they love you but they deeply love you and it, it's just like uh they've fallen in love and, and they're frustrated because they want things to go far further quicker and we see that there is this rosy colored glasses and the sense of deceptions or confusions around this situation and I see that someone is possibly getting some advice or it could be an age difference, which is another reason why it's like, I don't know. You know, you're maybe like, I don't know. Um, so we see, see that deep love there. So let's keep going here. Yep. We see, you know your value and your worth. You're just trying to be really selective with the Queen of Wands energy when it comes to a commitment, right? And yeah, there's, there's this concern of like feeling regretful about picking picking the wrong person. So you have someone in your midst that really wants something here quickly and you know, you may still be like dealing with, uh, still maybe getting over someone also as well because we see this, this tend to like, want to move past this regrets from before. It's like, and someone is just like getting upset about this, defensive about it. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. I feel like it's pretty clear cut. Because you're like saying it, when it's time, we can be happy when it's time, you know? When it's time. Okay, so can I have some advice from my Leos when it comes to romantic love life for the highest, best, good, for the best possible outcome for them? Now to the end of August, show me cards I need. See? Show me the cards I need. Two, see. All right, so it's saying you feel like home, so jealous 
and attention to others. So as I said, it's, it, the vice is coming out the same way as we were just talking about, right? It's saying you have to do what you feel like is close to your heart, right? It makes you feel comfortable and at home instead of letting the jealousy of this person and feeling like you're giving attention to others, letting that get to you. Um, we see that there is a loss of spoiling you and then focusing on the future. So taking that, um, saying that like, you know, look, I really need that time for the future. I wanna really figure things out. Then let me go. I mean, you need to use your head around this situation um, because if there's something about a twin flame or relationship this, you have to communicate about this person. Like, look, if, if you don't give me the time that I need, then I'm going to have to walk away. Because this person is, like, wanting to claim you as theirs, right? They're like, you're mine. And this is what I want. But you're, in, you're not sure what you want as of yet. And you don't want to rush anything. So you have to communicate to this person about the fact that you want to slow things down. And if, if they're not willing to, to deal with that, then... It is saying to walk away or to stop giving attention to it. So obviously you guys, you follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. We're not supposed to infringe upon anyone's free will, okay? So only follow the advice if you want to. It's only advice you don't have to follow if you don't want to. All right. So what's going to have my Leo's career in finance now until the end of August? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. Okay, so we got some kind of decision coming up for you guys. And we see the timing is right. And we see there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy around this. Or you guys are getting advice. Could be a legal situation coming up for you guys. But there's a lucky situation coming in. I see the influence is uh, feeling stuck around this situation. Sorry about that. Feeling stuck around this situation. And we see that... There is this wanting a victory here when it comes to these burdens and responsibilities. What's going to have my Leo's career and finance now until the end of August? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so you guys may be receiving some kind of bonus, some extra money here. And someone is helping you with this. Someone really wants you on their team. Seems like there's a, an abrupt action that's going to be taken all of a sudden. Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot of actions being taken here towards things that you love because of this lot of money involved with the situation with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Uh, see, some of you guys may be doing some travel and... Um, I feel like you guys also, if you go ahead, it's like you're giving some kind of money to this person to help you. We see a travel loss and massive changes because I see the central theme is talking about this travel situation and feeling stuck in between because of these responsibilities here. So it's like almost like you guys wanted to go somewhere or do something, you wanted to take some actions here uh, because of this decision that's being made. And you got a little bit of extra money, you may receive some kind of invitation here to travel. But it's like someone's like, I need your help with this to deal with this loss. And I need you on my team. And there's been a change here. So what's going to happen with Leo's career in finance now until the end of August? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. So I see that there's going to be deep personal strength and peace when it comes to something that you want because something's going to wedge in between that situation. So you're going to have to take things slow and it looks like you're getting some help or assistance here because something was brought to light or you're needed, somebody needs you somewhere. We see that this house situation, home or real estate, house, home, real estate, or building. And we see a younger feminine energy around this. 
it's like you're realizing though that there's going to be long-term emotional fulfillment around this situation but at the moment you're kind of trapped or stuck here stuck in the middle of this and it's causing some discord but I see you guys are going to invest some time in this situation and there's some thoughts and plans for the future so you're just focusing at this time towards the end of the month you're like well look I guess I got to deal with this as a temporary situation. If I want to get what I want, then I'm going to have to do what I have to do here. Uh, yes, uh, my family's not really happy about this. There's some discord going on here because of this person, but um, I see there's some misunderstandings, but you have this opportunity presenting itself, right? And you're like, if I don't do this, I'm going to be in trouble here. So I have to overcome this delay and challenge. So the changes can happen in my life when it comes to the contract and commitment. So you're listening to your intuition on this. When it comes to this travel situation, uh, because you're gonna, you know you're gonna have plenty of material things coming up, even though the plans may be wrecked right now, you know, um, uh, there's something very attractive here about this situation, which can be healed and fixed, but you first gotta deal with these issues when it comes to this uh, job, this uh, obligation that you have. Okay, let me get you guys some advice. Can I have advice for Leos when it comes to their career and finance for the highest, best good for the best possible outcome? Now until the end of August, what should they do? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. What should you do? Okay, so yes, it is a time to sacrifice, but you know your value and your worth, right? So stay balanced here about the situation. Just put it in the back of your mind, think about this, and follow your heart on what to do, okay? You have the expertise and the know-how. So focus on self, do some soul searching. You have more power around the situation that you realize, okay? You, um, you are very attractive, so like you, you have options. So listen to your intuition about this. You could build your power if you wanted to, but you know, um, Protect the situation when it comes to your abundance, first and foremost, before you make this decision, because you don't want to base this on ego, right? When you make this choice. All right, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you, Leo. What does Leo need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know could help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what you want it, continue to have faith and it's gonna work out. It's really easy to get triggered and frustrated. You just gotta be honest and show you the real you, okay? When you make this bold move, okay, so you have to be real about making this bold move. It's about this major change. Prosperity does lie ahead for you and you're gonna have a win-win outcome. So I feel basically, it's just saying trust in the universe, okay? There's nothing really you can do at this time, but just trust the, the, the process and know it's gonna work out, all right? All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.